Ani, hello. In this video, we will take you through the steps of cleaning and scaling a fish. Here we have a lake whitefish, a species native to the Great Lakes and important to the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation. In Ojibwe, whitefish are known as a tikamig. To clean and scale a whitefish, you'll need at least one knife. This is a gutting knife. Its rounded tip and broad blade makes it easier to scale the fish and remove organ. This is a filleting knife, a much sharper and finer knife than the gutting knife. This tool is used to sharpen your knife blades. It's always important to have a sharp edge when cleaning, filleting, and scaling. Before we start cleaning and scaling, we'll go over some basic anatomy. Here you will see the mouth of the fish. Its position is inferior, meaning it is pointed downwards. This can indicate that a fish eats on the bottom of the lake. This is the eye. Past the eye, we get to the gill cover, which is also known as the operculum. This cover protects the sensitive gills, which you can see as we turn the fish. Next are the fins, which help the fish move through the water. The first pair of fins are the pectoral fins. The next pair of fins are the pelvic fins. Directly behind the anus, you will find the sole anal fin. And at the very end of the fish, we have the caudal or tail fin. Finally, we have the dorsal fin, which is followed by the adipose fin. Another important physical feature of the whitefish is their lateral line. This line is composed of sensory organs that allow fish to gain information about the environment around them. To begin the process of gutting, we must first remove the scales. That can be done with the gutting knife shown earlier. To do this, get a good grip on the fish's head with one hand and the gutting knife with the other hand. Bring the knife from the tail towards the head. As you can see here, the scales are coming off. Keep doing this until you remove all or as many of the scales as you can. Scales are generally removed for cooking and eating. However, you can always keep the scales on the fish if you wish to do so. It's important to remove scales from all parts of the fish if you can. And remember that there are scales on the bottom side of the fish. Here are some of the scales that were removed. As you can see, this generated quite a, quite a mess, so it would be important to clean the, your fish, your area, and your equipment before you move on to the next stage. Now that we have a clean area and clean equipment, we can begin gutting the fish. This can be done with the gutting knife. You, you want to start with an incision near the head. And continue down the bottom side of the fish, through the pelvic fins, towards the anus. When making this incision, like removing scales, it's important to get a good grip on the fish. For the purposes of this video, we're showing you a couple different angles. This is usually the most common angle when gutting a fish, having the stomach, the underside, pointed towards you. When you get to the pelvic fins, you'll encounter some cartilage shown there, and that'll provide some resistance.
In some instances, you will be getting a ripe or spawning fish. Here's an example of a ripe female and her eggs. The eggs can be eaten. A traditional practice of the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation is to mix harvested eggs and sperm and return them to the spawning area to support future generations of fish. You can see the eggs there. As you can see with this fish in particular, there are no eggs present. To remove the organs, begin near the anus and pull the intestines out. The organs will be all connected and should come out together. A knife may help to sever the organs from the body. Be sure to remove any remaining organs. Here we have the heart of the fish. This organ is the liver, and attached to the liver, you will find the gallbladder. The next organ is the stomach of the fish and the intestines. This white organ is the gonads of the fish, indicating that this individual was a male. For comparison, here are the eggs from the female whitefish. Next, you will want to remove the kidney of the fish, which is also commonly referred to as the bloodline. It follows the spine. Make an incision and follow it along the spine. You will then want to use the rounded edge of the gutting knife to remove the excess tissue, and this is where it comes in handy. Once all the tissue is removed from the inside, you'd want to clean and rinse your area, your fish, and the, and the equipment you used. Please stay tuned for our next video where we take you through the steps of filleting a whitefish. Miigwech, and thank you.